hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today we're going to be looking at legal compliance officer all right and we're going to look at who is a legal compliance officer what do they do how can you get this job what are the requirements to get this job how can you update your resume to get this job how much can you earn doing this job also this job is 100 percent remote don't forget that is what i bring to you 100 percent remote non-technical cyber security job and that is one role that we're looking at today the one we're looking at today is legal compliance officer let's dive right into it all right legal compliance officer is what we are looking at the first question like i always duty or who is a legal compliance officer all right now a compliance officer is a professional who ensures that an organization operates within the legal and regulatory framework relevant to its industry now as a compliance officer you're going to be responsible to make sure that your company operate within the legal and regulatory framework those two keywords are very important legal and regulatory framework that is relevant to your industry for example if your company accepts card you know if they accept visa card they accept mastercard you have to make sure that your company operates within pci dss you have to comply with pci dss so a legal compliance officer make sure that the organization is operating within that framework and you're going to be responsible also for implementing and monitoring compliance programs to mitigate legal and ethical risk that's basically the duty of a compliance officer all right now about ambit the company we're looking at today is called ambit that's the name of the company and the role is legal compliance officer so you're going to read about the company here our uh, first thing first is a healthcare technology and a service company they provide data analytics consulting and platform-based offerings to biopharma companies with a focus on rare and specialty disease now these are the things that you need to understand what and things like that now we're going to quickly take a look at the job summary not only that we're going to take a look at the key responsibilities and from there we're going to look at the resume all right and don't forget this job is paying between one hundred and thirty thousand dollars to one hundred and seventy thousand dollars a year i know you're excited i am for you too so let's take a look at the key responsibility but before we go there let's take a look at what they're saying about the job summary they're saying we are seeking an experienced legal compliance officer to oversee our organization's legal and compliance functions related to information security so it is still in the realm of cyber security but it is not technical all right it's a non-technical role in cyber security like i always told you you don't have to be technical to get a job in the cyber security domain data privacy contract compliance now the primary responsibility of this position is to ensure ambit compliance with applicable laws and regulations including epa and gdpr so quick explanation if you are in healthcare, you have to be in compliance with HIPAA. All right, HIPAA is another regulatory framework under GRC that you have to be in compliance with. Another one is GDPR. GDPR means that your customers, if you are from Europe, if you have European customers, you have to be in compliance of GDPR. So what you're going to do as a compliance officer is to ensure that your company is in compliance with this regulatory framework and the legal framework that you have to operate within now let's take a look at the key responsibilities the first thing is contract execution it says the legal compliance officer will be responsible for reviewing drafting and negotiating various contracts don't forget we have several tools now that you can use to draft and to write okay so this is something that you can do okay there are several tools for that including software licenses agreement service service level agreement vendor contract 
all this contract agreement that you have to write these are not big deal these are things that you can do and there are ai tools everywhere that you can use to help you to make your job faster okay so contract execution that is very very easy to do another one is contract oversight it says the officer will serve as the main point of contact for inquiries so when they want to ask questions right when they want to ask questions you're going to ask as a main point of contact for inquiries related to compliance practices okay uh, including like standardized procurement questionnaires and things like that you also be partially responsible for overseeing ambit compliance with the terms and conditions specified in any contract that they execute you're going to make sure that they are compliance with all those terms and conditions another one is organization policy oversight the officer will ensure necessary organizational policies and procedure are in place and reviewed on a regular basis and we ensure staff have been trained you know it means that you have to ensure that ambit has necessary organizational policies and procedures in place so they review these policies regularly to ensure that they remain up to date and effective you understand so that is basically what that is all about another one here is risk assessment so everything that you and i we've been looking at here is still under grc governance risk and compliance so here risk assessment decide when we need to do internal external risk assessments audit including budgeting for them and coordinate if anyone asks to audit us that is very easy you want to determine when do you need risk assessment how do you go about that and then you also want to coordinate that exercise or the task if anyone asks you know to audit these are things that you can do right these are non-technical roles that you can do and i would want you to apply for this role as soon as possible another one is regulatory monitoring and compliance all right regulatory monitoring and compliance now you have to monitor regulatory changes and updates relevant to ambit operation anything that is changing from any of your regulatory compliance framework your hipa your gdp you have to make sure that ambit also is in compliance right so you have to monitor those regulatory framework all right and then just ensure that you comply that's it if they say uh, you should conduct risk assessment quarterly in hipa it says that you have to conduct risk assessment twice a year now if hipa reviews their policy and they now said you have to re you have to conduct risk assessment quarterly it means that you're going to conduct risk assessment four times a year then you must be up to date and ensure that ambit conduct risk assessment four times a year that's just an example all right another thing is data privacy write and maintain privacy policies and terms and conditions for all ambit websites again these are something that you can generate you can use ai to generate all these things okay so don't let these uh, vocabularies that they have written here don't let them scare you from not applying these are things that you can do with if you know how to use tools my former manager used to tell me that the best cyber security professional is the one who knows how to research how to use google how to use tools and ai to in in its advantage all right so they are there for you to use keep our compliance the officer will be responsible for overseeing ambit compliance with HIPAA regulations. Now, if you don't know about HIPAA, it is easy to learn. It is easy to understand because it says that the officer will serve as HIPAA compliance officer. All right. So it's easy to learn. You can Google HIPAA. You can watch HIPAA compliance on YouTube. It's so easy to learn. This is not rocket science. Okay. So now let's look at the qualifications. What are they asking for? Bachelor's degree in law, business or relative field. It means that if you have bachelor's degree in business admin, in law, in, uh, social science, in anything, you are qualified for this role. Five years of experience in legal and compliance functions. Don't let this legal scare you. What you should think about is the compliance functions related to information security. So this is something that you can do as well. Experience in drafting and negotiating software license agreement. These here are something that you can generate like I told you. So there is nothing here in these qualifications that I've seen that you, you can't do if you have 
a bsc degree if you have any degree you don't need tech degree to do this all right and this here is in cyber security and you do not need a tech degree to do this and don't forget this pays between 130,000 to 170 thousand dollars a year all right so you can see the compensation here a young startup field with you know passionate and fun teammates equity package that's a very good one if you're going to get equity that's very good flexible vacation policy 401k medical dental vision a you know a lot of benefits that you stand to gain to get this job so this is a company ambit i would like you to apply now you want to ask yourself how do you apply how do you package or update your resume or your linkedin to fit for this role we're going to look at that in a second ambit so this is a company's website i would like for you to go through the website read like i always tell my clients read everything you can read about the company know them know the problems they have know how you can solve the problem and we're going to talk about the interview as well now this is your resume now you want to apply for this job i want you to pause this video all right as i scroll through this resume you can pause it and copy this resume this resume was carefully crafted to fit for this role so you can update your resume and apply for this job this is your experience number one experience number two and this is from 2017 so from 2017 to 2023 is almost five almost five six years almost six years so you're overly qualified so you can take a look at this resume now you can see here it is your formal job you're no longer doing that anymore so you will see that everything that we wrote here assisted conducted participated analyzed assisted collaborated right because that was in the past i'm giving you guys clue on how to write resume now take a look at this new um, your current job right now where you are presently and you can update this to fit into your present role as you apply for this job conduct develop perform provide collaborate because this is what you're still doing right now so you can copy this word for word to apply for the role and this is the accomplishment like i always say make sure you have accomplishment in your resume it's very very important okay accomplishment must be part of your resume because hiring manager wants to see everything that you have done to stand out from other applicants and then you put your education there so you have your name your city your zip code your phone number your email and in my usual language if you're gracious enough you can add your linkedin but it is not compulsory all right so i believe you are very very well informed on this role i would like for you to apply as soon as possible ambit that's the name of the company and if you get the job or when you get the job let me know i will see you guys tomorrow for another job in cyber security that is non-technical and does not require you to have a technical degree see you guys tomorrow